So today I'm going to be testing and reviewing some brand new makeup products from the drugstore. I got everything from the new Milani tubing mascara to a new blur tint foundation. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm over 50 years old and I love testing out makeup and skincare products, everything from drugstore to high end and everything in between. And today it's all about brand new makeup from the drugstore. And today I'm so excited to test out all these new drugstore makeup products. These kind of slipped right under the radar, right at the end of 2022. And since it is a new year, I couldn't wait to dive into them with you. So. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Happy New Year, everybody. Oh my gosh, it is a brand new year. I hope you're doing well. I'm super excited about this because I love testing out drugstore makeup for our mature skin. And, and boy, do I have some really good finds for us. The first thing we're gonna start out with is from e.l.f. It is their new Sun Touchable Woe Glow Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sun Protection and Makeup Primer. Now this retails for $14 and it has like a peachy shade and it has an SPF of 30. It's supposed to create a glowing radiance. It's supposed to prime your skin for long lasting makeup. It also contains aloe, hyaluronic acid and squalane. When I was testing this out earlier this week, I could not help but compare it to the Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40. If you kind of look at it, it kind of looks the same. This one does have a slight tint to it and also a little bit of shimmer. This one retails for $38, but it also does have an SPF of 40, 40, 30, take your pick. I've already done my skincare routine. So last step for me is sunscreen. So let's go ahead and try her out. Now she does have a slight tint to it and it's kind of peachy. And this is what she looks like. Very slight tint to it and it's fragrance free. So what I'm gonna do is all over the face. It does really provide a radiant glow. Oh my goodness. This is really hydrating, really smoothing on the complexion and it just really absorbs quickly into the skin. But wow, look at that glow. It is really giving me super goop vibes. And that was like my go-to sunscreen that also creates a radiant complexion underneath. But this is super pretty. Look how glowy my skin is. I'm gonna go ahead and let that absorb into my complexion. But the next product I wanted to test out with you is from NYX. It is their brand new Bear With Me Blur Tint Foundation. Now this retails for $14 and it comes in 24 shades. It's supposed to provide medium coverage and this also does contain a lot of skin loving ingredients like glycerin, matcha, and niacinamide to brighten up your complexion. I picked up the shade Soft Beige and when I was looking at it online, after I received it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is so orange. I really hope it matches my skin tone, but it's supposed to be flexible at the same time. By the way, I did my eyebrows off camera and I did it with the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. Really been loving this. It's just your typical brow pencil that's retractable and of course it has the spoolie but I actually quite like this. I think this is like $5. The new NYX Bear With Me Blur Tint Foundation is supposed to blur your complexion, provide a medium tint and a natural finish. When I looked up the ingredients on this particular foundation, I was like, holy dimethicone, Batman. Seriously, this has at least four to five different types of dimethicone. Dimethicone is the first ingredient on the list, and that is just another word for silicone. That is primarily the ingredient that's going to give you that really smooth, blurred look. Woe Glow has absorbed into my complexion. I wanna go ahead and apply the Bear With Me Blur Tint. As you can see, it just comes in a plastic squeezy tube and a flip top, which, Actually, I kind of appreciate. Let's go ahead and put some on the back of my hand and I'll show you the consistency. Kind of thick and very orange. And it was kind of scary because when I tested this out yesterday, it looked super orange on my skin, but as I was blending it onto my complexion, it did neutralize out. So right through here, super orange, right? But for some crazy reason, it starts to neutralize. I don't know, this is so crazy, but with all the dimethicone in this particular foundation, I expect it to be super blurring. I mean, isn't that crazy? I'm just gonna go ahead and take my BK101 foundation brush, stiffle it in where I have a lot of my melasma and my hyperpigmentation, and then kind of buff it out through here. 
It's very smoothing, I must admit. Now this is one side width. I'm gonna go ahead and turn down my lights so you can see exactly what we're dealing with. Super glowy, oh my gosh, that wool glow is giving me such glow vibes. But as you can see, this is just half a pump, the Blur Tint Foundation. Very light coverage, but I think we can build it up to medium. So let's go ahead and do the other side. I mean, it really freaks me out because it's so orange at first. Isn't that weird? Look how orange that is. You know, and I think I prefer using my fingertips. And what I noticed using the Woe Glow and the Blur Tint, it doesn't pill up on my skin, which I really appreciate. This is actually looking really pretty, really smooth and blurred. It feels lightweight on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. And I love the fact that it contains skin loving ingredients. And it looks like it's covering up most of my redness around my nose. But that looks really nice. Now, don't have a new concealer to test out today, but I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of my favorite drugstore concealer, which is from Honest Beauty. It is the Fresh Flex Concealer. Okay, concealer on, and it's working so well with the foundation. Now, I did pick up a new bronzer, and it is from e.l.f. You know how they came out with their putty bronzers about a year ago? Well, now they formulated a luminous putty bronzer, and I picked up the shade Day Trip, so I couldn't wait to test this out. They retail for $7, and it comes in six shades. I love a good cream bronzer, but if it's luminous, I think that's gonna be super pretty. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, that feels so buttery. And this is Day Trip. Oh, that's pretty. It reminds me of the Luminous Bronzers from Tower 28, and those are kind of pricey. But yes, let's go ahead and take a little bit on my finger, tap some on. Oh my goodness, this definitely has pigment. Oh boy. But I like how creamy it is. Super pretty. Oh, this is lovely. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take my brush and just tap it in. And it's not picking up the foundation whatsoever. It's still leaving it in place. And usually where I like to put my bronzer is right at the top of my cheekbones. And you know, I was a little leery at first because it's supposed to be a luminous putty blush because I don't want any glitter or shimmer, but this is just giving me a nice natural glow. It just has that slight little glow to it. Oh, but that's pretty. Wow. Ooh, very pretty, very subtle. It doesn't have any shimmer or glitter in it. That's what I really like about it. It just has a nice luminosity to it. I'm just gonna quickly go in with this blush from Item. This I picked up at Sephora and it's on sale for $10. And I thought this is a really good deal. And this shade, admit it, is so pretty. Just tap on a little bit of blush just to add some color back into my complexion. I love this cool tone mauve shade. I think it's super pretty. And it just is such a nice pop of color. And it does come in different shades. I love the shade though, admit it. And this just recently came out. It is from Milani. It is their Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush Highlighter. At first I thought, is it a blush? Is it a highlighter? I don't know. But when I read the directions on how to apply it, it says to apply to the high points of your cheeks. So I figured blush highlighter. So I couldn't wait to test this out with you. This only comes in one shade and this retails for $10.99. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I tested this out last night and it, I kind of got it dirty, but it has one of those little squeezy tubes with the cushion top, very, very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the back of my hand. You squeeze out a little bit and it, a lot comes out. Holy macaroni's way too much. Oh, I'll be cleaning that up. But look how dark and pigmented this is. I thought there's no way this is gonna look good on my skin. It looks kind of almost coppery, gold, shimmery. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a tiny bit, maybe that's a little bit too much, and apply it to the high points of my cheeks as a cheek highlighter, if you will. But as you can see, it just really applies so pretty and it doesn't add any texture to my skin. 
it, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. This is even prettier than it was last night. And I was just farting around with that. But this is gorgeous. This is so pretty. But look how luminous that is. Oh my goodness, that is so, so pretty. Definitely be careful when you squeeze it, you're going to get a lot. And I just made a big mess. But yeah, this is gorgeous. I mean, they said you can apply it to your Cupid's bow. I mean, yeah, let's see what it looks like on the Cupid's bow. It's very subtle, very, very subtle. I like this, I like this a lot. And I'm wondering if they will come out with perhaps a lighter shade, maybe in a champagne tone, but this is absolutely stunning. Now, to set the under eyes, I picked this up about a week ago. And again, it's from Milani. It is their Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. And I have to tell you, this stuff is gorgeous. I'm not a loose powder kind of girl. I just like using it to set my under eye area as well as my T-zone, but this is beautiful. I'm just going to say right now, and I love, 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 love the actual design of the component. It's not messy like a lot of loose powders where you're just like, you know, you open it up, powder goes flying everywhere. It has like a nice little trap lid. And then as you pop it open, it has like I don't know what this is, like a parchment paper or something. You kind of just tap your brush in there. Do you see how it's kind of coming out of that little, I don't know, parchment paper? I don't know. But it just delivers the right amount of powder without it getting messy. So I'm taking a little bit on my brush and I just want to set my under eye area. And it is so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, it is so micro finely milled. It really does blur your under eye area. You guys, when I first tested this out the other day, I was so shocked. I couldn't wait to share it with you. This is a gorgeous loose powder. If you want to just set your under eye or your most porous areas through here and your T-zone, it is so pretty and it's so affordable. It's only $14. Holy smoke. I love drugstore makeup. Look how blurring that is. I know. This is called the Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. You know, this is this is this is going to be probably one of my favorites. I don't have any new eyeshadow that I want to test out today, but I did pick up the new Milani. Oh my god, I got so much stuff from Milani. Milani Highly Rated Lash Extension tubing mascara now this is supposed to be the dupe to the thrive cosmetics tubing mascara it's supposed to be non-flaking non-clumping it does also contain shea butter and castor seed oil so you know it's going to be good for your eyelashes this retails for $13.99 and i can't wait to test it out so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to throw on a little bit of eyeshadow i want you to be able to see if this mascara is going to work for my short stubby asian eyelashes that grow straight out just want to put a little bit of the e.l.f. No Budge Cream Eyeshadow for a little pigment on the eye, but I really want to focus on the mascara. And this is in the shade Sand Dune. One and done. Next, I want to go in with the new Milani Highly Rated Lash Extensions Tubing Mascara. It is a silicone brush, kind of looks like a pine tree or a Christmas tree, if you will. And the bristles are really short. I do love a good tubing mascara, but if it's gonna be drugstore and just as good, I'm all for it. Major difference. That is not a bad mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and take some more of that Luminoso from Milani and just pop it right above my brow bone just for a little bit of, ooh, that's pretty. Just to give my eyes a little bit of pop right through there. Oh, that's lovely. I love products that are multi-purpose. And that looks really pretty in the eye area, just to highlight the brow bone and catch the light. Mm, very pretty. Now for lips. I picked up a couple of lipsticks from e.l.f. It is their new satin lipstick, and it retails for $9. $9? That's expensive, e.l.f. This better be good. Now, it's supposed to be a satin finished lipstick that delivers all the rich color you're craving in a comfortable formula that lasts. Maybe they're trying to compete with Milani, their color fetish lipstick. It's supposed to be comfortable, long lasting, richly pigmented with a satin finish, nourishing formula inf infused with marula oil, squalane, and jojoba. It's available in 10 sultry shades. Ultra luxe soft touch texture packaging with magnetic closure. 
Ooh, I like that. So I picked up two shades. I picked up Drive and I picked up Standing Ovation. Standing Ovation is a peachy yellow brown. Drive is a rose brown. I love deep rose tones and rich brown shades. So I wanna test out Standing Ovation first. I wanna see how that looks. $9? Elf, come on now, you're getting pricey. Very sleek, I love the packaging. I mean, if you're gonna up your price to $9, it better be nice and come with a magnetic closure, just saying. All right, so it's a typical bullet lipstick. Ooh, that's kind of a lot of product. See how it has e.l.f. right there, embossed on there? e.l.f. is getting fancy. So this is standing ovation. Ooh, super creamy. Oh my Lanta, I have spoken too soon. This is beautiful. So smooth, so creamy. Oh, this is so beautiful. So creamy, so hydrating. I think it is kind of worth $9. And this shade, Standing Ovation, is beautiful. It's neutral, it's not too brown, it's not too pink. Oh, this is lovely. Now this is Drive, it's supposed to be a rose brown. Ooh, pretty. Ooh. Ooh, I like that, I like that. This is so beautiful. This is giving me Makeup by Mario vibes, his Ultra Suede lipstick. It feels almost the same and it, Kind of looks similar to the shade Jessie, but honestly, I prefer this shade over Makeup by Mario's. Creamy, it's lightweight, it's hydrating, so smooth on the lip. I love the magnetic closure. I love that it comes in 10 shades. I love this lipstick, and this is a first impression, and usually I'm super picky about my lipstick, and I love this shade. Okay. Here we are with the final look. You guys, I think we batted a thousand today. Everything from the Woe Glow Sun Protection and Makeup Primer to the Blur Tint Foundation from NYX. I think the complexion looks healthy and glowy and luminous and blurred. Hello, beautiful. The Luminous Putty Bronzer from e.l.f. just provides such a natural radiant kiss of sun loving, which I need right now, but it's just so pretty. And at $7 a pop, you can't go wrong with the price. And then my goodness, the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush Highlighter. Is it a blush? Is it a highlighter? Who cares? It is so pretty on the skin. It just provides that beautiful luminosity. It's not too dark. It really does sheer out, but I think it just looks beautiful on the complexion. And then the Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder, probably one of my favorite products in this whole review. I don't know, some of these were really, really good. It just looks beautiful as a setting powder. It really does blur my pores and sets my under eye concealer beautifully. Super affordable, super accessible. If I had to pick a product that I was least impressed with, it has to be the highly rated Lash Extensions Tubing Mascara. I'm gonna play with it a little bit longer. It's not bad, it really isn't bad, but I really love this natural everyday look and at the price point, everything was super affordable and super accessible, but what do you think? What was your favorite product that we tested out today? I would love to know your thoughts. And are you thinking about picking up any of these products? So thank you so much for hanging out with me today and letting me test out all this new drugstore makeup. I had so much fun, you guys. I always have fun hanging out with you and I hope you did too. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. And in case you wanna hang out a little bit longer and check out some foundation reviews, check out the playlist down here. And for skincare reviews, check out the playlist right over there. But for now, mwah, mahal kita, I love you. Happy New Year, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.